Welcome back you guys. So tonight we're going to be working on a Glock 26 Gen 5 and let me just quickly take you through the process of exactly what we're trying to achieve just to help you better understand what you're viewing as it unfolds. So let's talk a little bit about the top. What we're first going to do is we are going to cut the rear top section here for a Vortex Venom. So we're going to go ahead and remove the existing dovetail that's going to kind of take place up in this general area. Then we're going to go ahead and cut a new dovetail right across there. Um, this is going to allow us to not hit our plunger hole, right? We're going to want to stay away from that. And then, of course, it's going to look a little bit better because we're going to move that dovetail forward. So it's a little bit newer style. You're starting to see those a lot more uh, on the market than what you've had in the past. So uh, we're going to be doing that on the top rear. Now, in the front, what we're going to be doing is is we're gonna do a window up here with a uh, chamfer. So we're gonna basically do one solid window with a chamfer, and that's gonna kind of wrap up the top work. Now on the sides, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be shaving the sides down to remove the existing text which is gonna allow, uh, you know, obviously we're gonna get a little bit of weight reduction there. We're also gonna get a little bit better appeal overall because we're not gonna have butchered text while we're doing some work. So we're gonna shave the sides down. But the difference is instead of starting from here and going all the way to the nose, which you guys have seen me do before, we're actually gonna be adding some front serrations on here. So we're gonna end up doing a shave kind of like from right here to this general area at an angle. So, okay, so this whole zone is going to get shaved. Then we're going to do like a serration, 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 serration. And then we're going to go ahead and shave this nose section here. So this and this is the same thickness. So um, that's kind of what we're going to be doing on both sides. So this side will be doing a shave over and then we'll uh, come up and we'll, be, we'll do like a serration, 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 and then a shave at the front. Of course, we'll do some sandblasting. We're going to do some coloring. We're going to bring it back. We're going to talk about it. We're going to look at it. And we're going to see exactly what we came up with. So guys, let's go ahead and take you over to the Tormach 770. We're going to go ahead and start on the top rear section here. We're then going to make our way to the front section. And then of course, we're going to finish up those sides and bring it back. Alright guys, let's go ahead and run this through the sandblaster. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of color on it. Let's take a look at it.
All right, guys, this is our final product, and overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. So we went, we went ahead and put that Vortex Venom on the back, relocated that dovetail to the front, went ahead and did us a nice pocket on the front, and then we went ahead and added some nice serrations on the side. Now, one of the things you're gonna notice is that the first and the last one are higher than the ones in the center. This is where the text would have normally been. So on the left-hand side of the gun, there is no text, but on the right-hand side of the gun, there is text. So one of the issues we ran into was this one and this one still had a little bit of the Glock logo and this one had the A in Austria. So I, did, I had to end up doing a little bit of a correction there and ended up kind of just doing a little bit of a dip to take that lettering out. I still wanted to keep the first one and the last one higher than the other. Um, you can kind of see that right here. If we look down here at this angle, you can kind of see that this one's a little bit higher, lower, lower, and then higher again. So I really didn't want to shave that all the way down or remove that text, so I just did a little bit of a dip through there. Real pleased with the way it came out overall. Um, I'm real happy with it. It was a new design. It was something that I hadn't done before. It was a design that I kind of just turned out. And, um, you know, I thought that it was going to look pretty cool, and, and it came out pretty, pretty awesome overall. All right, guys. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this content. I was able to go outside. I got you a couple of pictures of this build. It was raining outside, so uh, we didn't have a lot of time to take some pictures, but I was able to snag you just a couple, give you a little bit better visual of exactly how it came out. Sometimes we don't always get that exact clarity when we're working with a camera inside. So um, I tried to take, take a couple pictures outside, give you guys just a little bit better lighting, a little bit better angle. And uh, so that way you can kind of just see exactly how it, uh, how it turned out overall. But guys, if you, uh, if you happen to like the content, hit the like. If you happen to like the channel, subscribe. Also, there's new content being posted all the time over on our Instagram and over on our Facebook. Um, guys, we have a new machine that came in and we will be demonstrating that new machine very soon. Now, guys, if you're wondering what this is, this is one that I did a while back there was no build video on this. this is once again this is one of mine this is a 50 kl gun crafters 50 gi very cool sent the barrel out KM blasting did the barrel and i'm really pleased with it overall this is just a beast of a pistol so it rides on a 21 frame now it happens to be that i'm working on somebody else's 21 uh that is local to me so we're doing a, a, a new video that are gonna that's gonna be coming out on a 21 with the upper and the lower kind of being integrated together on a design so I just slapped it on their frame to give you just a little bit better visual but guys if you like the stuff subscribe get your notifications turned on give yourself an opportunity to watch something that costs you absolutely nothing so um, really good opportunity there to uh, kind of just participate and no money out of pocket so real cool if you're thinking about having something done you're just not quite sure what you want to have done go back watch some of the other videos figure out exactly what it is you want feel free to go to our web page there's a contacts tab send us a little bit of information about what you're wanting to build and uh, we'll reach back out to you and probably ask you for some pictures and some things like that and we'll go ahead and move forward with your project but guys always feel free to come back check us out we're gonna have a lot of other cool content coming out we've just partnered with a couple of local people that have a couple of really cool builds going on so uh, we're definitely going to get to see some new stuff that maybe we haven't done on the channel before so stay tuned for that thanks guys